we're back at the boat. We've done lots of exploring today. All the old buildings and sort of the original site for the town. And up to the lake. Now we're back at the dock here and at the boat. Brent and Joan went, now that it's low tide, they went to explore low tide over by that really big building uh, that we first went through. And I'm really glad we stopped here. It's, it's fun to imagine what this was like 50 years ago when there's, you know, five or 800 people here <laughs> and what life would have been like here back then. And one thing I've heard in the past, and maybe one of the reasons I haven't stopped here is because I've heard, well, the dock's in rough shape. What they have here now is this brand new dock. I know they are uh, trying to have people remember Buttedale. We had to sign some waivers just because it is private property, and if you got hurt on the property, you know, they don't want to be responsible, but they still encourage people to come and see uh, Buttedale. Another early morning, it's not quite 7 a.m. I think, and just about to leave Buttedale. So today we'll be going down the rest of Fraser Reach, and then it's an odd name of an inlet. I can't remember, it starts with an A. From here to that funny named inlet, we want to be catching the flood, which is what we're doing, and then from that point, uh, forward, it ebbs. Uh, we want to catch the ebb. So the tide goes down and the tide comes up and then they meet at that inlet and then they ebb out. So if we calculated everything right, we should be getting a push to that point and then we should be able to ride the tide all the way down. We've got just under 40 miles to go and I recommend if anyone is coming up the inside passage to uh, stop at Buttedale. It's very interesting. And there's the lake up top so you can get a little hike in. They've got a beautiful dock and uh, interesting history here. So we're just, the engine's warming up and I see blue sky. Everyone's awake and I think we're almost ready to go. We made it to Swanson Bay and you can see the smokestack behind me that is and the pilings all that remains of the first pulp mill on the BC coast which started in 1909. Uh, it's been completely taken over by the forest and what's kind of cool about Swanson Bay is that it's named after Captain James Swanson, John Swanson, John Swanson, who was a Hudson Bay Company mariner 
and he was born up in probably Moose in Rupert's Land at the time in the 1800s in Moose Cree or Moose Factory uh, which is on James Bay and he was named um, by his dad William Swanson and William Swanson also worked for the Hudson Bay Company and according to their records had three wives and 20 children so John was one of 20. He had 19 siblings, so he made his way west, started working for Hudson Bay, and took ships up and down the coast. So Swanson Bay is named after him, and again, the first pulp mill in BC. So fun to see this. So fun to see this. And as you said, his famous fertile father um, birthed a son who this bay is named after. We made it to Clem 2. Uh, we got fuel and water and now we've pulled into the public dock. And Clem 2 is home of the Kitasu Hai Hai nations. Uh, we met some of their local guardians who greeted us on the dock when we had tied up. And they patrol the territory, they meet and greet people, uh, they do a lot of monitoring in their home. And uh, it's beautiful. Blue skies, sunshine, I've never stopped here before except on the ferry. Alfie's been a few times, but not too recently. Uh, and so we're going to go and explore. And what else did we see under the boat a few minutes oh, ago? Oh, uh, after we tied up and we're just getting our stuff ready to go, Alfie called and he, all these fish swimming right underneath the boat. So just little ones, but hundreds of them. It's really cool. And it's getting really sunny. It's getting very <laughs> sunny. Yep. There's uh, some some fish boats and some dive boats tied up here. Uh, I think I better wet my sunglasses. Well, let's go check things out. Okay. Yeah, chocolate chip and 
chocolate brand? Mm. Mm. Okay. Excellent. Best chocolate chip ice cream ever. <laughs> and that's in uh, Clem Chip. <laughs> <laughs> Post ice cream, we we're at the Clem Two Fish Hatchery, and uh, there's no one inside, but it's a beautiful building. We're over a little bridge, on a bridge over a little dam, listening to the water trickle by, and hoping that a grizzly bear doesn't come along any minute and eat us. Or a black bear. Both black have been bear. sighted in town. And what did we see on the little road to the hatchery? Oh, we saw bear poo. So we know that there is a bear close by. I mean, it wasn't steaming, it wasn't that fresh, but it wasn't that old. It's, it's probably a day or two old at the most. Yeah. And maybe we should get back to the main roads because we're a little bit off the beaten path. Yeah, but we're making noise. We're enjoying the sounds of the forest and yeah. the river. We'll be fine. Day was good. We left Butte Dale early this morning, rode the tide until that inlet starts with an A and Talash or something inlet. We were a bit early for the ebb, but we did catch it eventually and got up to like seven knots over ground, which was nice to do that for a while. Made it to Clem 2, fueled up topped up the water. We didn't really need much fuel and we didn't really need much water but we thought top up while we're here and then we came over to the public dock staying here the night. We've walked around town, didn't get eaten by bears, we've had a wonderful dinner, uh, red Thai curry sauce with shrimp and rice that Devlin prepared. Thank you so much. We've been eating really well on this trip, of course. And then after dinner, we... Oh, we were watching during dinner, and there's ravens and crows and an eagle right on this derelict uh, gillnet boat next to us. So we got some footage of that. And then we saw another eagle over on a post. And he's still out there, uh, but he did fly away, and we so we took some photos of him. And got some nice photos and hopefully as he was just taking off in flight. And that's it, the end of the day. The sun just went down behind the mountain. And tomorrow we are off to Bella Bella. And there goes another raven. Tons of sea life here.
all sorts of things, and and wildlife, uh, tons of eagles. But uh, yeah, the sun just went down and the wind just picked up, so I think we're gonna go in and have an early night. Another day tomorrow. Tomorrow will be about 35 to 40 miles.